Brakatayahawa, Brakatayahawa Shai, Brakatayahawa, Brakatayahawa Shai, Brakatayahawa, Brakatayahawa Shai. Blessed be the true, holy, powerful, and mighty name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. And blessed be the true, holy, powerful, and mighty name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, our Lord and our Savior. To the elders of Israel, being the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, never rule well. Shalom, Wahabla, Bachir, Shah, Sharala, which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. Come back at your again with another lesson, Baharacha, Kharasha, Amaf, and the Holy Spirit of Truth. And um, I probably titled this video something along the lines of. This is the end. All right. We here. We at the end. Okay. Um, everything that's going on around the world, it's it's all biblical prophecy. The major things going on around the world is all biblical prophecy, man. All right. Uh, in the book of Ezekiel, it talks about um, the effect of every vision. Okay. The prophecies are in effect. The prophecies are in motion. All right, and I'm I'm playing the elders out there, the elder bishops out there in Connecticut, because um you know that's what they was going into. They was going into the prophecies like we're commanded to go into. Second Edition the 15th chapter says, "Speak down the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I will put into your mouth." These are the watchmen that the Lord said that He would set up, which will not hold their peace day nor night. All right, uh, uh, until Jerusalem be set as a praise in the earth, and Jerusalem, the true Jerusalem, is about to be set as a praise in the earth. All right, this place is going down. Okay, we're at the end of Esau's world and and, and the beginning of Jacob's world, man. All right, in Daniel the second chapter it says, "In the days of these kings, shall the power of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed." How is he setting that kingdom up through wisdom? Wisdom of Solomon the sixth chapter. Wisdom bringeth to the king. Wisdom bringeth to a kingdom. Therefore, ye kings of the people, honor wisdom that ye may reign forevermore. It lines right up with that Daniel the second chapter because it says what that this kingdom shall stand forever and break in pieces all these other kingdoms. All right, so that's why I got the elders, and just like um, just like you watch the apostles every week, you should be watching the elders every week. You know that's what the the elders under them. These men been laboring for twenty plus years, twenty five plus years. All right, and still going hard. Like I said, these are the watchmen. These are the shepherds. All right, these are the teachers. Look how I'll give you teachers. It said, uh, "Thy eyes shall see thy teachers, and they shall say, This is the way. Walk ye in it." Okay, I'll give you shepherds which will feed you and not leave you lacking. All right, so the apostle, the apostles on down to, to, to these men, on down to, you know, the elders and the heads of the camps. And, you know, and the rest of the brothers that's uh, uh, pushing the proper doctrine, that's pushing the, the right spirit of Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. All right, we have to be in tune. Okay, so that's why I'm going to just have them playing in the background while I uh, pull the precepts. Now, I'm going to start off with that Ezekiel. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 12, and verse, I'll start at verse 21. It says, And the word of the Lord Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, what is that proverb that ye have in the land of Israel, saying, The days are prolonged, and every vision faileth. It's June! Ain't no micro C hip. Right? Now you can't say that. Well, now you got Nate in the IUIC talking about the CBDC, talking about the digital currency, talking about the the uh, uh the grain of rice, right? The C to the H to the I to the P. Okay, just <laughs> switched up. <laughs> like in 2016, you ain't you ain't say what you said, right? Or, or not too long after that, it's not gonna be a Jacob's trouble. It's gonna be la di da di da, and the Lord's gonna come, right? He was talking to that Benjaminite out there. They was either in Jamaica or the Bahamas somewhere, man. But now he's saying, I didn't say that, you moron. We we seen the video, man. Jake got the, 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 the clips, the records. Anyways, let's continue. But, but that's biblical prophecy as well. False prophets. False prophets is biblical prophecy, man. All right. It says, Ezekiel chapter 12 in verse 23, it says, Tell them, therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh. That's the name that we're coming in. We're coming in the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. <coughs> Salaki in the name of his only begotten son Yahweh Shai. It says that the elect shall praise his holy name. In Revelations, it says that the Lord will give re uh, reward unto his servants, his prophets, that fear his name small and great. Okay? It says the righteous, it says the name of the Lord is a strong tower, the righteous runneth into it and is safe. The ones that's gonna get crowned, the men that's gonna get crowned and that's gonna reign with Yahweh Shai Mashiach is confessing. The name of Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai. And standing boldly and stiffly for the name of Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai. As it says in the book of 2nd Ezra, the 2nd chapter. 
Tell them, therefore, thus saith the Lord power, I will make this proverb to cease shutting niggas up, man. And they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel, but say unto them, the days are at hand, the effect of every vision. Okay? That's the times. That's what's speaking. The, Lord shut, the Lord's going to shut you niggas up. All right? And the only thing that's going to be speaking is the prophecies, man. All right. It, it, very soon, even the prophets ain't going to be teaching. Even the prophets ain't going to be speaking. He said, I believe it's in Ezekiel. He said, I'll cause your tongue to cleave to the roof of your mouth and you won't be a reprover unto these people. In second Ezra, it says, which shall hide itself and understanding shall withdraw itself. In Amos, the ninth chapter, it says there shall be a famine, not a famine of the word, which there is going to be a famine of the word. Right. But the famine that Amos was talking about, or it's like it, not a famine of food. Let me just read it. Salakia. This is the book of Amos 9. Or no, Amos chapter 8 and verse 11. In verse 11, it says, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord power, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, but nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. And how do you hear his words? You hear his words through his men that he has established, that the men that he has set up, the men that you niggas love to hate, man. Okay? It says, and they shall wander from sea to sea. That's when they're going to try to get right. It says, they shall seek me early and shall not find me. It's going to be too late. It's going to be too late, man. It says, it says uh, in the book of Ecclesiastes, remember thy creator in the days of thy youth before the evil days come. We can read that as well. Lord's will. This is the book of Amos chapter 8 and verse 12. And they shall wander from sea to sea and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the Lord, to, to seek the word of the Lord Yahweh and shall not find it. All right. And the word of the Lord is what's going to keep you stable. The word of the Lord is what's going to deliver us. So if you can't find it, you're going you to be a real unstable creature out here. All right. Then grafted word able to save your soul. You're not going to be able to get that. Right. It says. In that day shall the fair virgins and young men faint for thirst. Yeah, the fair virgins, the fine ones, right? It's going to be a lot of hell breaking out loose. Okay, and that ind independent woman, that bullshit ass independent woman spirit, that's going to go right out the fucking window, man. Along with feminism. Right. Along with all that bullshit. All right. That's been pumped into Eve's uh, uh, brain. Okay. The, f the philosophies of the devil. When, when the lights go off in America, we're going to see you're going to need a man. When the lights go off in America. All right. When, when, when you, you know, when there, uh, uh, there's no more power, there's no more 911, there's no more authority. It says that the, the course of their actions shall stand on their own power. All right. That's in the book of second Ezra. All right. I'm on short of time, but if brothers, you know, is watching and is in tune, Baba Kusha post these for me, man. Okay. It says the, ver the virgin shall mourn having no bridegrooms because they're perishing in the wars. The food wars, the civil war, the race war, even the big war, which is World War Three. You got these BRICS nations, right? Uh, uh, Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa. They're all moving away from the dollar. They said, look, fuck the, fuck the dollar, man. That's going to that's going to start a war, even though it's all the theater of war. And we know that uh, uh, Esau it's pretty. This is all part of his plans and whatnot. There's gonna come a time. The brother Matthias been pushing. It, there's gonna come a time where Esau don't got control, right? And he never really had control. The Lord is using him. He he's under the um. He has a false sense of control. He has a false sense of power. The Lord is using him. It says the Lord created all things. That's Proverbs 16. Someone post that. Created all things from himself, even the wicked for the day of evil. Okay, this is Amos chapter 8 and verse, that's it on that. Uh, where was we going to go? Ecclesiastes, with that Ecclesiastes. 
I'm going to start in the 11th chapter. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 11 and verse 9. It says, rejoice, O young man and woman. All right. Go ahead and rejoice. Live it up. The Lord said the same thing to Esau. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom. It's your world. Right? Rejoice, O young man, in thy youth. And let thy heart cheer thee in the days of thy youth. It says, and walk in the ways of thine heart. And in the sight of thine eyes. All right. Do what you will. Whatever you want to do, go, on, go on ahead and do it. Right. But know thou that for all these things, Yahweh, Ba'asham Yahweh Shai will bring thee into judgment. But everything that you're doing, you're not going to be acquitted for. So go ahead. Right. You want to build up in this world? Go ahead. But anything that's being built up in this world is going to be thrown down. Thus saith Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. He that labor, labor in vain. So if you want to try to make yourself this high value man in this wicked ass society, go on ahead. But you're going to perish with that status. You're going to perish with that bag you're trying to take. That, that, that bag got holes in it. That same bag you're chasing got holes in it. That's how I got one and six. Someone can post that. Right. Ecclesiastes 11 and 10. It says, therefore, remove sorrow from thine heart and put away evil from thy flesh for for childhood and youth are vanity. All right. The, the, the ways of this world is vanity. It says, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world for the love of the father is not in him. If any man love the uh, world, the love of the father is not in him for of the world is the lust of the flesh and of the eyes. Right. This is first John uh, two. First John 2 and 15. So let's go into the 12th chapter. It says, uh, Ecclesiastes 12 and verse 1, it says, Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. Now is the time to seek Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Right? Before the club shut down and there's no more raves and festivals and all this other broadly ass, weak ass bullshit. Okay? Now is the time to seek him. Because soon the Lord's about to take away all mirth and joy from this uh, uh from the place of confusion. As it says in the book of Isaiah 24, someone can post that in verse 10. Okay? This place is being broken down. It's on it's on its way out. We hear this is the end. This is the end of uh, of Babylon. Right? And it's gonna end in fire and brimstone. All right? It says, remember now that thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them, while the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be not darkened, nor the clouds return after the rain in the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble. And, and <laughs> the keepers of the house is trembling. The economists. Okay. These different economists, they're, they're, they're already telling you, look, this, this shit's over with. All right. The dollar is through. The only thing that was holding the dollar up was, was really that it was used to buy and sell oil. It was the petrol. It, it, it was used for petrol. It was the petrol dollar. But now that we all see all these other countries getting away for that, from that, from the dollar dollar bill, right? That motherfucker's going to collapse very, very soon. The dollar bill can collapse this year. By the end of this year, the dollar bill can collapse. And when that motherfucker collapse, this world is going to collapse. America is going to collapse with it. A lot of fucking um, privileges, right, that you get in this society is because of that dollar being the um, the petrol dollar. I was reading reading this shit earlier on uh, this site called The End Time. Let me see if I can... Um I'm going to just pull it back up. It's still in my um history. This is um End Time Headlines. April 3rd, 2023. Here are... um Yep. It says, Here are seven signs that global de-dollarization de has just shifted into overdrive. The Lord is shortening the days for the elect's sake. Global de-dollarization. That's the digital currency. That's the prophecy of the MOTB. When they start pushing that, they're going to start pushing that hard. The dollar goes down. 
they're going to bring in the MOTB, the C to the H to the I to the P. It says, for decades, the U.S. dollar was the undisputed king of global currencies. But now, dramatic changes are happening. China, Russia, India, Brazil, Saudi Arabia, and other nations are making really big moves that will enable them to become much less dependent on the U.S., on the U.S. dollar in the years ahead. It says this is really bad news for us because having the primary reserve currency of the world has enabled us to enjoy a massively inflated standard of living. Thou that dwellest carelessly, right? In the book of Isaiah 47. Someone can post that. <laughs> You're about to get judged, man. It says widowhood, loss of children shall come upon thee in one day in its perfection like a thief in the night. Once we lose that status, our lifestyles will be much different than they are today. Unfortunately, most Americans don't understand shit, <laughs> right? In that um, Roger Mayweather <laughs> spirit, right? Most niggas don't know shit about boxing. Majority of these people don't know shit about what's going on around the world. Majority of people don't know that this place is on its way out, that America's through, through ski. Finish the mom. All right. Over with. And they're intentionally trying to get rid of this place so that they can bring in that MOTB so that they can bring in that digital currency. All right. Back in Ecclesiastes, you can go and look that up. I gave you the source. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse three. It says in that day when the keepers of the house shall tremble and the strong men shall bow themselves and the grinders cease because they are few. And those that look out the house. Uh, out of the windows, right? The grinder cease. No jobs. Not going to be no work for Egypt. Isaiah 19. For the half of the tail. All right? Your little LLC business or whatever the fuck. Right? That's, yeah, it's going to be out of business, man. Your little nail, you paint nails, you do hair. All that little bullshit ass f shit. Vain ass shit. That these women, you know, call themselves entrepreneurs because you do fucking eyelashes. And bitches be getting paid. These hoes can't fucking... Uh, uh, a bitch don't got her eyelashes. I, my, feel, my eyes feel naked. Right? Makeup artists and shit. There's not, there's not going to be no... That's going to cease. Alright? The trucks ain't even going to be moving. You think a bitch going to worry about getting her nails done? She going she gonna to be worried about trying not to get nailed by a pack of grimy niggas. Okay? That's the times that we coming into. That article just said it. Right now, you're able to enjoy a, a heavily inflated lifestyle. Soon, you're not going to. Rise up, you women that are at ease. The vintage shall fail. The gathering shall cease. Right? That's Isaiah 32. And in that day, a man shall be a hiding place from the wind. A covert from the tempest. We're going to see if you need a man in them days. A river of water and a dry land. And that's talking about a man of the Lord. A man that's covered by Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. A man who, who, who the spirit of the Lord is upon, who's been serving him in truth and in sincerity. That man is going to be protected by the hand of God, by the hand of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. He said, come not near any man upon whom is the Thawah. That's Lashawan Khodash. All right. It says, and the door shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low. And he shall rise up at the voice of the bird and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. It's not going to be no work. It's not going to be no. They trying. That's why they pushing that UBI. Look, this everything that's going on. We can we can pull precepts on it, man. The prophets can through the spirit and power. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, starting with the apostles and the elders, the, the real teachers of Israel, man. The, the teachers that Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai set up. I'm going to go from there. All right, and the daughters of music shall be brought low. During the demic, there wasn't no fucking um, concerts going on. And that's how them niggas get their money. The concerts, merch, okay, going on tour. That's how they really get their money. You're not getting... Back then, you could probably make, you know, a, a decent amount off of selling CDs. Ain't nobody buying no goddamn CDs, man. All right? So all that shit's gonna go out the window. Right? This is Habakkuk 2 and 1. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. And the Lord answered me 
and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables for Salakia so that he may run that readeth it. OK, and we running with the message. We letting you know. It said Noah by faith, Noah being warned of things not seen yet. Move with fear to the building of the ark and the saving of his house. Condemning the world became an heir of righteousness, which is by faith. Hebrews the 11th chapter, the 7th verse. We in that same stead in these last days, the Wadi Hawabah Sham Shai, for this glorious opportunity to serve you. And I pray that we don't fuck it up, man. All right, the scripture saying, and Hebrews says, I'm going to just read it. Man, what is it? Hebrews. It didn't pop up, but I think it's Hebrews 3. Hebrews chapter 3. Yeah, it's 2. He, uh, yep, Hebrews 2 and 1. It says, Therefore we ought to give the more earnest heed to the things which we have heard, lest at any time we should let them slip. Okay? Earnest heat, man. You gotta, we have to be really examining ourselves, man. All right, really looking into ourselves and cleaning ourselves up and preparing ourselves for Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai because He is coming quickly, as He told us in Revelations. It says in the book of Second Ezra, the ninth chapter, when you see these things begin to come to pass, then you shall know it's the very same time wherein the highest will begin the world which He made. That's the times that we live in. Back in Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 2, it says, And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision, make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak. So that bullshit, that vain shit that you niggas is talking about, he going to cause that shit to cease. He's causing it to cease. Right? And what's going to be speaking? These prophecies. There's not going to be a debate on if the MOTB is the uh, C to the H to the I to the P. It's not going to be a debate because niggas is going to be in line getting that shit. You're not going to be able to buy or sell without it. It's not going to be no fucking debate. You're not going to call us no damn C theories, no conspiracy theories, because we're telling you about the martial law camps and the FEMA camps and the, and the red list and the blue list. You're not going to call us no nuts then because your ass going to be inside of one with your fucking friend just looking stupid as hell. All right. It says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time. And at the end it shall speak and not lie, though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come to pass. It will not tarry. It will surely come to pass. and not going to tarry much longer. We are at the end of all things. We're at the end of this world. It says that the, the, uh, this world hasteth fast to pass away. Right? I beheld Satan cast down his lightning. First Peter chapter 4 and verse 7. But the end of all things is at hand. Be ye sober and watch unto prayer. The end of everything is here. So what do we need to do? We need to be sober. Meaning what? Clear-minded. Understanding what's going on around the circumspect. Redeeming the times because the times is evil. And constantly in prayer, man. Pray without ceasing. That all men everywhere lift up holy hands. Giving thanks, giving and prayer to Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai. Roughly paraphrasing. Okay. Now, well, I got to go back into work. Let me see what this Ezekiel. I want to finish on this Ezekiel. 12. Ezekiel chapter 12 and verse 24. For there shall be no more any vain vision nor flattering divination within the house of Israel. For I am the Lord Yahweh, Baasham Yahweh Shai. I will speak and the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. The words that's coming out of our mouths, starting with the apostles, starting with the elders, the men that you see on the screen. Right? And the men of great millstone on down shall come to pass. It's coming to pass right now. Then you shall know when this thing come to pass, lo, it will come. Then you shall know a prophet has been among you. That's Ezekiel 33. Ezekiel the third chapter as well, I believe. It shall be no more prolonged. It won't tarry no more. He that shall come will come and will not tarry. That's in the book of Hebrews, the 10th chapter. For in your days, O rebellious house, will I say the word and will perform it, saith the Lord Yahweh. The word has been said. Now it's about to be performed, all right? I hope y'all can still hear me. Got this loud-ass rain. But I'm about to go inside anyway. 
Lord willing, now is edifying, uplifting, and exhorting. I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rechach Hodash, Yahweh is the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of His only begotten Son, our Lord and our Savior, Rechach Hodash, is the Holy Spirit, it speaks through us, that allows us to rightly divide the word of truth and teach the word correctly and directly. The Thamash Nakabah, Laz, Akum, Shah, Shirah, Lagid, Abba, Anas, the elders of Israel, being the apostles, and the elders of the great millstone, never will. Shalom, Wahab, Labach, Yahshah, Shirah, which is peace and love to elect of Israel. Shalom, Achim, brothers, keep on pushing, stay sober, stay diligent. Stay faithful, stay prayed up. Salvation draw off nigh and redemption is near to believe. Shalom.